Hello everybody, it's me, Xander, and you know, I'm coming at you live from Emerald Quill Studios, which AK is just my laptop. Um, first things off the bat, uh, sorry for, um, not keeping up the weekly podcast thing. God, I say that a lot. I must disappoint a lot of you guys, though. Then again, looking at the views from the first podcast only, oh, let's see here. 13 of you guys have seen it. So, you know, compared to the 73 subscribers I now have, by the way, thank you very much. Um, I'd say that I don't have much to worry about at the moment. You know, that could be wrong. You guys keep on watching my videos. Uh, let's see what else to talk about. You know, I guess first off, um, I'll talk about the, uh, the new Sun and Moon stuff. Uh, first off, Battle Royale thing. That, that looks freaking epic is all heck that <laughs> that looks really fun you know the whole um uh free for all thing that, that became a big thing I think last year or something and uh you know it just grew and it's really cool to see the game freak uh really listen and stuff other than that there was a few new pokemon i think i haven't watched much footage about it uh, my friend Foxtrot, he just kind of came up to me like after I got out of school, uh, out of class, and he's like, "Hey, dude, check this out and stuff." And he like showed me the rundown. And he's like, "Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild, by the way." And he he's he's much bigger Zelda fan than he is Pokemon. It's the opposite for me, but um, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll talk about that next. Um, yeah, it seems really cool. Uh, I don't know about the whole like thing with the whole like huge world, like, kind of like Skyrim, I just hope that there's a lot to do. You know, I just, I don't know, it seems like this is the type of thing that you do in a game where you create your own character, and that just doesn't seem to mesh with Zelda type formula. I don't know, it just, having it just be linked kind of seems like it limits itself. It seems like the kind of game, from what it's making out to be, where it works better with your own type of character in a type of multiplayer setting. But, you know, I could be wrong. Um, either way, I will be getting it, and I will probably be buying all the Amiibos, since I do have every Zelda Amiibo. Uh, I also have every Pokemon Amiibo, so I just happened to get every Zelda Amiibo. I just kind of started with Link, because I got that first one for Christmas, because um, my mom had gotten me this bundle thing for it. And then... You know, I just saw Zelda, I'm like, oh man, she's cool. And it was during, like, this amiibo sale Target was having. And along with that, I got Toon Link, because I love the way the, the Master Sword looked on Toon Link. And then Sheik looked cool, and I kind of played her a bit on Smash. So that's also why I got her. And then Ganondorf was because I had all the rest, so I might as well have completed the trio. So that's how that came about. And I do have the Wolf Link amiibo. I actually think last Friday or two Friday? No. Excuse me. Um, I think maybe two Fridays ago. Oh, wait. It's the yeah, so last Friday, sorry. I'm trying to think. Last Friday, yeah. That was the day um, I got Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And I've only just put it in this Friday. No! Okay, I got that two Fridays ago. I just put it in last Friday. And I've only played about, like, probably two hours worth of it. I just got to the part where, like, you're supposed to get all the tears for the first, um, god... goddess? Lake god thing? I don't know. And, I don't know, so far I like it. The HD, the texture seems really different, even though my friend, even though Foxtrot, like, he, he's saying how it really doesn't seem that, or how it's not that different, it's just smoothed out a bit, I, I don't see it like that, I think they really did update the graphics, like, really much, a lot, and, I don't know, it's a little hard, it's gonna be weird, because I used to play it on the Wii, so, having the Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo thing, I really liked, like, swinging the Wii Remote and having the sword swing, but, I'm getting used to it. Uh, other than that, everything seems fun. Uh, the aiming seems okay, because one of my favorite things about Twilight Princess with its aiming mechanic, I'm probably the only one who says that, but I like the whole ridicule thing. You know, it was, it was fun. Uh, I don't know, it just made it a lot easier, especially when, when I played uh, 
Ocarina of Time on the Virtual Console, and I screamed every time I had to aim somewhere. <sighs> so, playing it on the Wii U, it kind of, it was a little reassuring to know that it used the gyroscope. Um, so that's that. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? Wow. Um, uh, I guess boring life stuff. You know, I've just been going to college, uh, taking my cinema classes. We just finished my cinema class going through German Expressionism, so that's pretty cool. It's, um, if you guys been to Toontown or watched the movie Nightmare for Christmas, that's basically German Expressionism. It's kind of cool. But, uh, we watched the old movie Nosferatu and the Cabin Dot through Caledonia. That was like the fir very, very early uh, horror movies. Um, they were alright, you know, it's cool. Nosferatu is like the vampire. Fun, funny story, it's based off the very first book of uh, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, but they actually could not, like, they did it illegally <laughs> because they never um, paid the um, Bram Stoker's wife or widow um, the money, so they never got any rights to it and stuff, so they had to change the name from Dracula to Nosferatu and, like, the character Dracula to Count Orgelock and stuff. And some of you guys might just find that boring. Um, let's see, Fire Emblem. Yeah, you know what? I do a lot of Fire Emblem, so I'll talk about Mars session thing. Uh, the Fire Emblem Cross Tech. Uh, no, Fire Emblem Cross Shinigami. Cro um, Mirage Sessions. I don't know. It's interesting. I think what really turned me off was the fact that, like, it wasn't like given an English translation that that really turned me off for me it kind of scared me a bit uh, I don't know it kind of made me sad so that's what really like stopped me from playing it um, I didn't I don't like it I don't, I don't really want to play it because that and also because I honestly thought like when I saw like Chrome like dark Chrome ghosty Chrome and stuff the, oh, cool, that's gonna be so fun to play as! But then he becomes like this transformation into the main guy character, and I'm like, what? What? What the f? What? And it just, uh, I don't know, I don't like it now. I, I don't like it. It's weird. It, it, I don't wanna play it now. And I also got uh, a birthday present to myself because I just turned 18. Um, well, you guys may not or may know that, I'm not sure. Uh, I got an N3DS, the new Nintendo 3DS XL, and, uh, you know, I never wanted to get one of them, I wanted to get a regular N3DS, but, I know, I was gonna get the Pokemon 20th Anniversary one, but they got really sold out really fast before I could get the money scrounged together, so I didn't get it. So, I said, screw it, um, because my th regular 3DS, it's backlight for the top portion of it was going out like it was dimming out and like glitching and stuff and it was getting worse and worse and worse so I figured screw it and I got it and then the E3 sale came out so I bought a bunch of games I bought a uh, um, uh, project the class zone 2 <laughs> Sorry, I like saying it that's how they say it when like you go over it project X zone 2 or I call it X zone but it's the cross zone I'm calling it that too uh, that's pretty fun. I barely know any of the characters in it. So, you know, I guess it would be cool. I don't know. If you guys haven't played it and aren't sure about it, uh, I only know, like, a few of the characters and probably the only game that I actually have legitimately played that has characters from the series in it is Krom and Lucina. And I can really assure you that if you haven't, if you've only, like, played one of them and you're not sure if you want to play it, I would give it a shot, it's fun, you don't, like, all the characters that they chose are very likable personalities, you don't have to really know them from their games to actually, like, feel experience in the involvement, so, you know, that's pretty fun, um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, it's, it's really cool, like, it's like, turn-based with beat-em-up, it's weird, it's like you get combos, and keep them up in the air and but like you're doing moves and stuff like you do inputs and they do like a bunch of different things and then uh let me break it down like so you're on this grid base and like you move around 
And so then, like, you attack your enemy, and then just depending on, like, where you are, that's how much damage they will take. Like, if you're on the back, if you're attacking their back, they'll take maximum damage. If you're taking them on your side, they'll take medium. And then if you're taking the, the attacking their front, they'll take the least amount of damage. And it'll happen to you as well. And then you go into this battle, and then, like, you like you have A or four day, and you press those, and then they do these little attack things. You get three of them uh, per little match thing, and you have to keep them up in the air as long as you can, and sometimes you'll kill them and stuff. And then you got, like, specials and things. They're cool. You know, huge screens and stuff, but it's fun. Uh, I also know there's characters that I do know, and then, like, they have the main characters, which are from their own game, which they're pretty fun, too. Um, it's a fun game. I like it. Uh, I don't know. I, I barely know any of them. I know kind of Phoenix Wright. I know uh, um, X and Zero from Mega Man uh, X, even though I never played Mega Man X. I only play like the original Mega Man games, but it's still fun. I like it. It's cool. And I don't know if you haven't played if you haven't played from any of the guys' characters in those games, don't feel intimidated. Like you, like you, you're not gonna enjoy if you haven't played those games because I haven't played any of them and I like them. Other than that, uh, got a few virtual console games for that E3 sale thing. That was also part of it, the cross um, project zone. Uh, but I also got like this game called Box Boy. I think they had a, a, a Nintendo uh, event thing a couple years back, like, I don't know, it was cool. It, it's a fun little puzzle game, you know? Uh, it's like you have this little guy and, you know, you get little boxes and it's like you're supposed to like build these little things and you, you have to like get these crowns. Well, you don't have to, but it's like kind of a little challenging. To get the crowns, you have to do it in like a certain number of minutes, under a certain number of times, under, under a certain, okay, you have to do it within a certain number of box count, count uses, and then there's a bunch of different other ways to do it, like uh, safe, there's like this little ledge thing, you could like build a box formation and build like stairs, or you could also make it so that like the boxes are on top of you and then you hang on it and then like you slide up the boxes and go in there like you're traveling along, like you're sneaking along. So it's really fun. And I don't know, I'm on the final chapter of it, I guess. And it's really stumping me. That's really hard. <laughs> um, other than that, not much else I've really done. I bought all three of the fire of the main fire emblem uh, things for them to be us. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think of the things, but I kind of like them, but at the same time, I'm cautious when spending them. Like, Foxtrot, there's like 20 of them or something. I don't know, he's like maxed out on the, I don't know, he has a lot of themes. And you know, that's cool, but to me, it's just like, I don't know, it's something you see for like five seconds, so I'm very cautious. The only reason why I got all three of the Fire Emblem is because I knew that I was going to get them because I wanted to support Fates, because I really like that game. I think it's a lot of fun, and I will be talking about that, but in later podcasts, they're going to be separate, and each one will be just talking about, like, each game, and I think I'm going to have a different person for each one, which will be fun. Sorry, that's a piece of wood that I have in my hand. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, I haven't really been thinking about Canada, I'll be honest, uh, I need to, because uh, I'm starting to get really dull. I really want to make videos all of a sudden, and that's probably just... It really sounds boring because you guys probably think, yeah, so make some freaking videos. Xander, jeez, what the hell? Yeah, I'll, I'll make videos, guys. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I, I guess that about wraps it all up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will try to make more podcasts. I'm sorry. It, it, it's hard. I'm a very big procrastinator. You know, I'll sit there and say, I want to I wanna do something, and then I'll say, hey, you know, let me finish watching these five videos first. So there's that. Um, so, you know, if you like the video, uh, consider giving it a like. If you like any of my videos, consider giving them likes. Uh, please comment your thoughts and stuff. Or just continuing... Or just continue to enjoy the hate that keeps growing on my Undertale video. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I had to bring that up. Like before I recording this, I, I looked and I had like five comments with like the most the most hurtful things, or I guess they're meant to be hurtful. I don't know, but the most like I don't know, they're funny to read. After a while, it just gets hilarious because it just racks up how many how many Undertale fans hate that video so much. So yeah. Um, so yeah, and then, I don't know, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing, you know? Uh, you guys seem to be growing. I don't know. Uh, when I started, I don't know, when I looked like in the beginning of this month, I was at 50. Now I'm at 72, so <laughs> thank you a lot. Uh, I guess that's it. Xander out.